to my channel today I have a fun little homeware edition video it is in collaboration with Desenio which I have a huge package here ready to unbox with you guys but essentially what I thought I could do within this video is take you around shopping with me but just focus on homeware homeware is one of my favorite things to shop I love homeware homeware brands all the bargain home discount stores right up to the high-end ones like the white company we all know i'm obsessed with it so i thought i would bring you guys along with me for a little bit of a shopping trip and show you a big sort of homeware haul at the end of this video and as this video is very kindly sponsored by decenio they have given me a discount code for you guys to use freya x decenio i'll leave the information down below and a direct link so you can shop any of these items yourself there is already a sale on their website of 25% off of which my code gets you an additional 10% off that sale price so if you've been thinking about ordering any decennial prints make sure you do it now whilst you can and it is only available from now until the 9th of March until midnight so if you want it you gotta be quick and also let me know if you do purchase anything because I like to see what prints you like there's so many different options on there that if your style isn't quite as neutral as mine or maybe you're looking to create a gallery wall they have a really easy online gallery tool that you can sort of visualize it a lot easier another thing to just note whilst i am unboxing this is that the code isn't valid on frames it's just on prints and not the like hand-picked personalized ones first of all this is the print that is going to replace the bathroom one to match the other one that I've got alongside it. And then this is the duo one, which I was so excited for. As you can tell, it's like a dried palm leaf side by side with this one. I just love the colors of it. I think it is beautiful. So I got these two, again, having the option and having the choice and I can switch out as and when I decide to. And then obviously I can keep these prints for future house, which hopefully we'll be upsizing in the next house at some point this year. Let's do a little poll and vote whether you prefer this one or this one. So let me know which one you think I should put up in our front room because I want your guys' opinion too. And then this second tube has for in the kitchen. 2020. This print I think is beautiful and I've actually bought this one for Tom's, well I say Tom's bedroom, it's like the spare room which Tom gets ready in, in the morning. How beautiful is that? <gasps> heavenly so i'm gonna show you that one in sunday's video whereby i'm gonna show you the whole before and after of tom's room which we're gonna have a huge clear out reorganize i want to buy a huge mirror for in there as well so i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for that today when i go out shopping so i'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of showing you how i put these up and where they're gonna go and what they're gonna look like and i use command strips just in case you're interested which is great and really handy if you are in rented accommodation we're not, but we're gonna look to sell this house at some point soon, so I don't wanna be making more holes in the walls and everything. So, hence why we've not really redecorated or painted in a long while. As much as I would have loved to, we are gonna be moving house this year. So, there, there we go, I've said it, I've put it out there and it's gonna happen. Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name which is a nice little surprise probably the first time in like a week i think my first stop is going to be primark and right opposite primark is a home bargains next to that is a next at home there is a big the range and b&m on route home but it all depends on how much i end up getting grab your cups of coffee get comfy relax let's get homeware shopping first stop primark there's a lot of uh summary bits in and 
autumn or spring summer bits and lots of sale but not here for the fashion today I'm just gonna head straight to homeware I absolutely love this uh, glass hurricane. I think it's so nice. Bear that in mind for maybe a future purchase. They always have really good looking artificial plants. So if you're not very good at keeping them alive, a bit like me, or instead of plants, if you like artificial flowers, how pretty is this? Set of four roses, 12 pounds, really, really good quality. Here's another one again, part of the next botanicals, 30 pounds. Okay, so Primark was a success. Home Bargains was a success. I didn't get anything from Next. I actually got a lot from Home Bargains. I have so much from Home Bargains that I'm actually gonna film that in a separate Home Bargains haul and make sure it's already live. So I'll leave a link to it below and a card up here if you did wanna click through and watch that one as well. I've also been to the range and there is something that I am picking up that is huge. So I'm gonna have to put all the seats down for that. There was one other thing that I'm still looking out for which I'm yet to find and it's a like you know a door draft stopper if that makes sense because our front door brings through so much draft into that front room that i feel like we're using a lot of we're not being energy efficient so i need something to block that draft any recommendations of nice looking ones i never thought a time would come where i actually love the cleaning aisle i think i've got mrs hinch to thank for this but oh they're good value I do tend to bypass beauty in B&M. That's one thing I don't really tend to shop for in here. This is quite a good B&M for rugs and also for bedding. I love this jersey bed sheet. So I've got it in this color, the beige. Dark charcoal is quite nice, but I just want cream or even white. I guess this is quite nice, this waffle one. 25 pounds for a king size. But for me, my ultimate favorite bedding has been the jersey one. It's so soft and comfy and cozy and I love it. I'm after these doormat things. I want to see if B I'm, I feel like I've seen them in B&M before. The door draft thingamajiggies. I feel like this is the only one I've seen which doesn't really fit my decor so unless I come across any others I think that is the only one they've got. It is five pounds. Good price. We've got these macrame things in the tribal range which i feel like is a new kind or fairly new range type thing that they do here in b&m oh this is good actually this is in the sale this one five pounds in the gold look at all this leopard print that they've got going on a lot of gold which is good because they used to have a lot of silver in b&m so i'm glad they're bringing more gold in i spotted both of these hurricanes four pounds that one actually comes with a candle and then the tribal one, three pound. What do I want? I can never decide. When it's not pumpkin spice latte season, I really struggle. <laughs> Golden honey macchiato, roasted hazelnut, caramel, vanilla bean. Oh, I feel under pressure because I'm next. What do I want? Hi, what is a golden honey macchiato? What is it? Yeah. So what we do is we mix the milk with turmeric and it gives it a yellow kind of hint and then we put uh, honey sauce over the top. Okay, can I have one of those? Can you do it decaf? Decaf um, golden honey mac, is that for you? Uh, I'll just have a tall please. Tall golden honey mac, yeah, so decaf, yeah? Yeah. Is that everything for you? That's it, thank you. I think I remember it. I think I've tried it before. The turmeric rings a bell. Hmm. 
I don't know if I regret my decision already. Hmm. I like it. I'm a fan. So I'm back home. I have everything laid out in front of me. There's a lot. This is an accumulation not just of today, but the last few days as well. First things first, I do want to say, because I can't lift it, there's a huge mirror there from the range. Let me spin it around. Oh! it's huge it was 119 pounds that is what i needed help getting in my car i love the beaded edge of it it's very expensive looking and really nice design so it is online well last time i checked it was online another thing that i got from the range were oh these again i saw these online and i thought well I'll look out for those in store and i saw this one first and i was like oh that one must be the large one and then i saw this one i was like whoa so I think I might put these in front of my fireplace. All of these items, if you want to see how I style them up, just head over to Fro Friends and Home on Instagram and I'll be sure to share pictures over on there. This one was $9.99. This one was $7.99. Or was it $6.99? One of the two. But very affordable and quite weighty items. Some other bits that I got from the range are um, for <laughs> an upcoming little project. I want to get more into... I, well, I want to create a bullet journal so I think once I've had it or once I've done it I'll share it with you guys probably on a weekly vlog uh, so for that I've been picking up some supplies I got some of these Uniball fine liner drawing pins pins <laughs> pens in 0 0.03 to 0.8 so it's gonna be nice for like writing really small little numbers and then a correction pen because I'm a beginner actually there's two in there and then these I saw Classique by Spectrum Noir. I loved the colours of these. Look at all the colours. They're called Pecan, Red Brown, Hazelnut, Burnt Sienna, Oak Tree and Yellow Brown. So they're kind of like a double-ended uh, blender shader thing. And then from that I'll lead on to an Amazon delivery that I received today. My actual bullet journal, which is going to be this one, an A5 dotted notebook by Stationery Island. So I've heard Tombow pens, Tombow pens are the ones to get. I got this beige one, a white gel pen, a brown Tombow, Tombow, and a black one. Because I haven't got a clue and because I'm a beginner, yes, I'm going to be watching loads of YouTube tutorials, but I also picked up this. This I actually saw on Amazon and was going to buy, and then I went into TK Maxx and saw it at a cheaper price. So this RRP is £16.99. I think on Amazon it was about £10, but in TK Maxx it was £7.99, and it's the bullet journal method. Track your past, order your present, plan your future, and it's essentially like a book guided book to help you learn how to do bullet journaling i also about sticking with tk maxx found this from minky i've never used one of these before and it's one of their glass and window for a crystal clear finish wipes cloths so that you can essentially you don't need to use harsh chemicals you can just wet it or dampen it and use it on glass mirrors that kind of thing so i'm excited to give this a try it was £2.49, RRP £2.99. I'm going to move on to a white company purchase, but before I do, I mentioned in my white company dupes video about ordering a brochure, and that's what I like to do to kind of get an aesthetic and for a bit of inspiration. And you can do it for free, you just go on their website and basically sign up for the newsletters and brochures. So I've done the same thing with Neptune Home Stories Volume 11. And you can pick and select which brochures you want as well. So I got this one. This is the Autumn Winter 2019 Directory. Oh, I mean, it's just so dreamy and it's, it's thick. You know, this is like a nice coffee table, not book, but magazine. So yeah, I've got these and you can get them for free. What's better than free? So White Company purchase. I, oh, I'm still burning my winter candle, but as soon as that has finished, I have this one, which I feel like is a nice transitional scent. It is in ginger and it is a weighty three wicker. Oh, it's so fresh, but still spicy because it's ginger. Love that. Let's go on to Primani, shall we? I picked up three cushions, one of which I already have this one, and I wanted to symmetricalize it. <laughs> 
definitely a made up word. I wanted to get a second one and have a bit of symmetry in the bedroom, along with these two cushions, which I thought would go nicely in front of it. Soft and comfy cushion, they're called 43 by 43. It was six euros, five pounds. And it is so nice. I love the piping on it. They had one in more of a beige tone, but I went with the warm gray. I know I don't tend to opt for grays that often, but this is definitely a warm gray. So I feel like it'll work fine. And the reason why I did go for this one is because of the piping. The other one didn't have piping. And I think that makes it look so much more expensive. So I picked up two of those. Okay, kitchen make out video. That make out? <laughs> kitchen makeover clear out video, definitely not make out video. I talked about my cutlery drawer being so small and loads of you guys sent me links to this Joseph and jo Joseph Joseph one of which I found. Now this isn't actually the cutlery one. They had the cutlery one. This is just in a local store called Boundary Mail. They did have the cutlery one, but I actually preferred the fact that this one had eight like slots. So this is a spice rack. I'm failing that. If it doesn't work as a cutlery drawer, I can always use it as a spice rack and go and get the cutlery one. It was £11.49. If you have narrow drawers as well and you struggle for a cutlery organiser, Joseph Joseph. Oh, this is another one that I got from Neptune. I forgot about this. This is called Timeless Timber Kitchens. It's kind of embossed there. And again, another quite thick brochure with loads of kitchen designs. Oh yeah, I forgot about these because I bought these a couple of days ago. <laughs> And I've already forgotten. Going back to TK Maxx now, I spotted, if you guys know my Le Creuset obsession, I spotted one of these black mugs. I already have two, so I'm hoping to find another one. This one was in the clearance at £4, because this is our most popular size used mug um, for like a short coffee, quite strong, just in the mornings. We have it in this size mug. I already have two, and I thought I would quite like a set of four. I also found, and I bought two of, these cute little ones. Oh my God. So I have the huge, like latte sized white ones. And then I have the medium black. And now I have the baby Nespresso, no Nespresso, Espresso in white. I just think this is so cute. RRP of 12 pounds. This one's 4.99. How adorable beige on the inside, white on the outside. Like me. I'm probably made of beige, aren't I? On the inside, I probably am beige. Beige-blooded. Okay, so a lovely subscriber has her own business and she very kindly reached out and wanted to send me one of her candles. This is from the Nude Candle Company. I will leave her Instagram down below. They are non-toxic, vegan, eco-friendly, hand... Oh, Christ, alive. Jerry. You scared me to death. Oh, my heart's going. Aww. You can't do that to me. Oh no, I'm missing my heart. And my makeup! Oh, that's a makeup. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Anyway, as I was saying, Nude Candle Company, Vico, Vico, <laughs> vegan eco friendly hand poured candles. And she sent me this one in the lavender scent because she knows I like lavender in my bedroom. So it comes in like a little hessian bag which in itself I think is adorable. And this is what it looks like. Number two, the candle scent is. Like I said, it's the lavender one. And oh my God, oh, it smells so good. It's got like a thick wooden wick as well, which always crackle really nicely. So thank you so much for sending me that. And then lastly, a company called Old English Company reached out and wanted to send me some of their stationary bits of which I, obliged because like I was saying earlier I'm into my stationery and I'm a big fan so they have loads of different gift cards they also know I had a card box so they've stocked me up with a load of different cards they have some with a little enamel pin this one says buy me pizza and tell me I'm pretty love there is loads of different cards that they've sent for me to store away in my card box which I'm so grateful for thank you so much and they also sent me two notebooks Lipstick in the gloss. No, hair in the lipstick gloss. <laughs> they also sent me a notebook. This is a lined and I love a ringed one so that you can like really fold back the page all the way. Little things you see, notes on the front there, very simple, minimal, very me. And then I love this one so much. It is beautiful in design. Let me come a bit closer and show you. 
this gorgeous beige sand kind of color with a rose gold metal finish there with planner on it this is just a good sized day to day and what i love about it is it's not dated you date it yourself so if you go a few days without dating it or you, you're not wanting it to be like a daily thing just as and when it's essentially a to-do list that you can date add notes checklist I'm a big checklist girl, I do them every single day. I like to get up in the morning and do a to-do list of things that I need to get done with priority and tick it off once it's done. It's just so satisfying to me. And so it's like a sense of achievement to be able to tick off your to-do list. Thank you again to Decedio for kindly sponsoring this video. I'm so excited for all my new prints and of course for my discount code, which gets you an incredible discount off already reduced items. So be sure to check out the information in the description box. Thumbs up if you want more homeware hauls like this and be sure to subscribe for more if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye guys.